Okay, Metro's back, rejuve, something like that. Here we go, time to fight. This is a really, really, really incredibly difficult trainer once again. No surprise. Uh, but I think I've finally gotten a condition down that if I could meet it, it's over. Well, I definitely have a condition down. I just have to actually meet it, and that seems to be the hard part. For some reason, the amount of, like, uh... The amount of damage these Pokemon do seems to vary every single time I do this, and I don't really understand why that is. But we're about to find out. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Oh, bulk up. Is that going to save me there? That should do it. Yeah, so lucky there. Uh, for some reason, when I was doing this earlier in the day, Honchkrow was not dying to this Pokemon, and then I just tried to record it like three times now, and he was dying. So I, I, don't, I have no idea what's causing that. But either way, next up is Graveler. We're going to have him go for some Earthquakes. Earthquake should do quite a good amount of damage, but for some reason he goes first and gets a crit. It's good luck there if you say. And then he chooses to bulk up, which, you know, the, the dice roll in my favor for now. We'll see if that continues. Uh, Manfu, easy one shot by Mr. Mime. He is faster. Every single time I've done this, he is definitely faster. It seems to be 100% chance, so that's great. And then Gallade. This is the guy I simply cannot beat. Uh, I literally cannot even attack him. But luckily, Ampharos will uh, survive one hit. And then I just got to get lucky. Thunder Wave has to hit. And it does. Perfect. All right. So that's that. I'm going to confuse him for good measure. Might actually save me here. Uh, hurt myself. Perfect. 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 I think I'm just going to go ahead and switch and go right to Zatu. He should uh, actually be able to finish it here. Paralyzed. Yep. So Air Slash. Okay. So he does. Oh, it snapped out of confusion. But that's fine. As long as he stays paralyzed, it doesn't matter. Honchkrow will finish it. We're about to find out if that happens. Wing attack. Yes, he does. All right, there you go. So that's that. I literally could not survive a single hit on any of my Pokemon from that guy. He's got freaking Rock Slide or Rock Throw, whatever the hell it is. And it's just so overpowered. It's hitting like it's stabbed. I mean, I understand it's, it's super effective against these birds, but it's just crushing them. Like, they have no hope of surviving. It's like, it's like a, a stab move. It doesn't make sense. But anyway... <laughs> Well, I may have underestimated you a tad. I won't next time, though. I was supposed to get a badge from Narcissa myself, but I think that plan is done with. I'll just take my, I'll just make my way to Akua Town and see if I can find Saki. Then we'll fix your stag machine. All right, good. So yeah, that confirms that I do actually, excuse me, that my um, able to catch Pokemon thing is still busted. All right, I wasn't sure if I missed something along those lines, but that does seem to be the way it is. Um, so I think, let's see, let's just retool the team a little bit. Obviously don't need Hitmonlee, Bruce Lee, motherfucker. All right, so yeah, we're going to go with Blaziken. He needs to come on the team. Uh, let's show you the team a little bit if you guys couldn't surmise. Sorry, it's such a rush start because I've literally tried to record that like eight times. I went back and got the, um, Mareep, which is in the, uh, you remember where we saw Amaria? Very first, one of the first two episodes, I think it was, in the... The mansion, or it's like the casino mansion. The, the room next to it, there's a person with an Ampharos or whatever, a, a, a Mareep. And once you set foot into this town, that opens up the trigger for it. So I really should have went back and got this earlier. It would have been a lot easier to beat that Gyarados that I struggled with last episode. Uh, and then I just, I trained up a bunch of more Pokemon. Pretty much went full no life. Uh, I'll show you guys some of them. In fact, this one is actually a pretty good Pokemon. He's got a really good move set. Uh, but I, I have no real need for him. Uh, his his stats are pretty bad. But uh, I do want to obviously withdraw a Pokemon. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I want to take him out. So that's that. We'll go with that for now. Uh, we'll put Ampharos up first. A few of them are close to dinging 41, which is obviously a bad thing. But I have no delusions that I am beating her in this, uh, in this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a bit about how this works. I can't figure it out, man. It's too confusing. Well, luckily, I've done this already. Uh, I actually made a full tutorial on how to beat this. Um, you just walk into this room, and then you go up here. Now, there's trainers here, so we're going to have to have actually battle some trainers. Uh, I think that's, yeah, Bennett. Okay, not too big of a deal. Uh, I am going to have to... Uh, whatever, D-level him after this, I'd imagine. This is actually a pretty strong Pokemon. You got to get Distar Discharge, though. He's level 40 with Discharge. Uh, otherwise, the what's it called? Um, yeah, the he, he's only got Thunder Punch. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank here. Thunder Punch is the only ability he has, so it's just super. It's bad. It's terrible. It's terrible. Is what I'm trying to say. 
He, he uh, he's a physical attack or his physical attack is terrible. I just use the same ability twice in a row. That's pretty good. I think I'll try to catch. Oh, perfect, perfect. I do want to just catch as many Pokemon as possible. So if I have the opportunity to do so, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna take that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Actually, heal up a bit. I don't think I'm ever gonna use Eradicate, but you never know. Maybe there's a reason that I should use one here. Let's use some of these fresh water. I don't even know where I got these things. But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use them. Now you're going to go around this bookshelf here. As you'll see, the chandelier appears. That's indicative that you've done it correctly. Then you go down this door. Now you're going to be uh, over here. we got to go back downstairs. Radicate. Look at this guy. We already caught one of these. There's a few. Oh, for some reason we can't. What? Why would we not be able to escape? I'm like 100 times faster than that thing. All right, now we're going to go back down here. I think... No, I did that wrong already. All right, so let's just do it again. Uh, I need to go back in this door. That's that's the door I needed to go in. So like I said, I did make a full uh, tutorial on how to do this, but that was like six months ago at this point. So I, I'm I'm pretty sure this is what you do. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, stop with the radicates, man. I don't I don't need any more radicates. Maybe I'll make a full radicate team. Do you guys think that would be good? If you guys think a full Raticate team would be good, let me know in the description below or in the comments, all right? All right, so now we're going to go up and through here. As you see, the fountain has been moved down here, but for some reason I can't ever escape from the... I don't understand. Why would I not... I'm an electric Pokemon. What are you fucking talking about? Why can't I escape? Uh, all right, I guess I'm just going to uh, put some repels on because I, I don't have time for this. Let's see, where's them repels? There we go. Still got a plenty, a plenty of them. Now we're going to be in a new room here. You're going to go all the way to the right, and there's going to be this weird creature that comes out and says some garbage that's irrelevant. Now we're going to go all the way here again. Yeah, we're going to be in a different room this time. That's it there. Now we're going to go all the way to the left this time. And as you'll see, the, uh, the path is now open. The fountain is still down here, and this is this is wide open for us to go up which we will do, uh, but I, I kind of wanted to battle that person, but I don't know how you even get over there, honestly. The regular path doesn't actually take you over there, so now we'll see Narcissa. You can activate this teleporter, and that will now you can just teleport in. So when I did this, it was episode three, and you had to do that fucking puzzle every single time. That's why I know it so well. Let's see if there's any, any like, Easter eggs or items or anything. Doesn't look like it. Uh, I, I know our first Pokemon is Gengar, if I remember correctly, so I'm just going to go right to Mr. Mime. Uh, it's actually a really low-level Gengar, surprisingly. See what she has to say. Please take your position. Sounds good. All right, Ren's going to come in. Narcissa, I'm back, and this time I won't lose to you. And he actually just hops over the rail for some reason. Wait, I know. How on earth? I thought I closed the entrance off. Yeah, so back to uh, the Route 3 area where he you closed the entrance off. He didn't know that we actually got in here. It's wonderful to see you again, Ren. It's been so long since we've last seen each other, hasn't it? Ugh. Yeah, well, I just had to get out of that dump of a town anyways. The way you treat people is horrible. Oh, Ren, oh, he's one step behind. What? Because of Arno's actions at Wispy Tower, I've decided to end our ordinance of isolation. What? I've been trying, to, I've been trying for years to get you to do that. How did... Oh, Ren, your reactions are always priceless. Now, as for you, Arno, I am sorry how we treated you initially, and I am grateful for your help at Wispy Tower. However, I will not hold back my power for that reason. I hope that you do not as well. Good luck, Arno. You'll need it. No fucking shit. Look at So it goes purple. Look at that. The candles go purple. It's pretty, pretty diabolical, pretty sinister. Eight minutes in, I have a feeling this is going to be the next ten minutes of this is just going to be me losing to this. But who knows? Maybe I'll actually be overprepared for this. I feel like, uh, wow. Okay, so I'm not actually faster, which is really surprising. But for some reason, he doesn't one-shot me. Uh, dual Blade, we're going to go to Blaziken. Bla Blaziken. He's just going to do uh, massive and irreparable damage. Uh, with, And as you'll see, the field there, that makes go... Oh, okay. Well, that why does that do no damage? What? I have no idea. But luckily, I get to crit. Might be what I need to succeed here. Rotom, I don't really know. Uh, dark moves are going to do almost no damage to this thing. Is this the electric one? I'm going to have to look this up, but I am just going to try to power through it, uh, but we'll see. Ghosts aren't afraid of the dark, so... Oh, that actually did a lot more damage than I expected. Well, yeah, so that's definitely the electric one. We'll switch out to Graveler. And hopefully Earthquake... I 
I assume it's gonna have uh, levitate though. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's terrible. Uh, I can't beat this thing. Oh, JK switch, which very very bad thing for him. But energy ball, hung on with sturdy graveler missed. Of course he missed. Why would he ever hit? It's no surprise there. You know what I mean? A uh, very low accuracy, very 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 low accuracy move. So I'm not surprised. Water pulse should kill him. It does not for some reason. Energy ball kills me instead. So that's terrible. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see if we can get a bit farther though. Uh, discharge, flame burst doesn't kill me. Discharge does kill it. This Pokemon is actually really good. Uh, there's the road time again. We'll just stay in and we'll go for power gem. That does no damage at all. I guess we'll try to confuse it. He actually confuses me. So now it's basically a luck of the draw. And even though I'm trying to use a confusing move on him, uh, he actually kills me somehow, which makes no fucking sense. Can I even do damage to this thing with with Mr. Mime? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I don't actually get a turn. Blaziken's gonna come in and he's gonna lose. Uh, so I'm just gonna use lose kick right there. As you see, it works 100% effective efficacy. F efficacy. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect draw right there. So almost ideal. Uh, we did get a bit unlucky. Uh, Jk, we got no luck at all. If it wasn't for bad luck, I would have no luck in this fucking game, man. I am going to change out Honchkrow as he's not really able to do the job. Uh, let's see who's the better Pokemon. I did also level up this guy. Where is he at? Yeah, here we go. Hondor. Let's see who's the better. What 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 moves does he have? I don't want to move him. I want to look at his Pokemon abilities. So he's got 99 special attack, but doesn't actually have a special attack. <laughs> of course. Uh, bite 60 and his... Attack is 79, so let's try him. Summary. Oh, he actually has Crunch. So, oh. so yeah, he's better for sure. All right, so we're going to withdraw him. Oh, first, we got to deposit Honchkrow. Put him over there. Now we're going to take out this guy. I might actually be able to win this. Uh, last time I came through here, the dark thing was, like, it was brutal. You basically did no damage. Like, it, it might as well have been not very effective because the amount of damage you did with the ability was just paltry. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see. Last time I did survive with Mr. Mime. I don't see why that wouldn't happen again, so we're just going to go right for it. Uh, Ren is still going to come down for some fucking reason, which is pretty dumb. And the candles are actually uh, purple still, so I guess that's... Just kind of an event trigger that hasn't been properly sorted. Either way, here we go. Gengar should not be able to one-shot my Mr. Mime. Sludge Wave, nope, not even close. Even though he's a fairy type, that's interesting. He probably should have went for a ghost move, I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, dual blade. Uh, Blaziken actually struggled with this guy, I don't really know why. But Shadow Sneak, see that's just super powerful. There we go, so I get a crit again. As long as this doesn't kill me, which it should, apparently. I don't understand that. Uh, Graveler. Let's see. Rock Blast. Earthquake. Is he levitating? No. Perfect. All right. Easy. Okay. So now we'll go to uh, Greninja. He's actually going to fuck me in the ass. So I don't want to. I'm going to use a dark move instead. He's going to use energy ball because I was, I think. Yeah. Okay. Energy ball. So now I should be able to kill him. Look at that, man. That's. Oh. Well. Didn't work out. Uh, unfortunately, but the confusion good good draw there good draw good draw Rotom this is where we're gonna switch to Mightyena. Hopefully the um, Crunch will do a lot of damage T-Bolt actually does way more damage than it should I don't understand that whatsoever, but so that's it for him. He's dead for some fucking reason Guess we'll go to Graveler see what Graveler can do Maybe Rock Blast. No, he's gonna hyper pot. So that's pretty much over already. Unless I get super lucky here. Crit hit, hits three times. I don't know what actually... Ghostly Whale. Uh, was that going to kill me? Of course. Why wouldn't it? I guess we can see if Greninja could do something. We're going to have to make sure we don't use... It's going to have to be dark. Uh, so that does no fucking damage whatsoever. And he dies. Of course he does. Ampharos. Maybe he could use something. Power Gem. Maybe Power Gem will do something. Diffuse Ray. Probably going to hit myself. Nope, Power Gem does finish him. So maybe we'll have what we what we need here. Miss Magus. Uh, yeah, I'm fucked. I don't have any way to beat this Pokemon. Ghostly Whale. It's just look at that man. 44. How am I gonna beat this Pokemon? I really don't know. 
I guess I could Thunder Wave. This is gonna kill me though, for sure. Oh, Thunder Wave. He's gotta get paralyzed. Get paralyzed, buddy, come on. Nope. Hit yourself. No. All right, I'm dead. Okay, so let's try one more time. Get a little, get a little more info. Um, yeah, I guess just keep repelling. So, yeah, I'm trying to think here. Maybe Greninja is the better choice against that electric Pokemon. Because for some reason, it's Thunderbolt does, like, way more fucking damage than it should. It's like some shitty... It's Rotom. Come on, man. There's no way that that's not super effective and does that much damage. Luckily, I don't have to do the puzzle again. That's just a reflex. There's also some uh, RNG to be had. All right, come on, man. Let's go, buddy. Making this take too long, my friend. Okay, here we go. 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 I'm not really sure what I can do. See, that Miss Magus is going to be a real problem. Up until that point, every one of her Pokemon has a strong... Uh, has something that I can do to take it on easily, like this, you know? Gengar can kill, be killed by Psychic, uh, even though Blaziken does no fuck. Actually, Blaziken might not be the best choice here. Uh, I, I do get a crit, and actually, this is going to work out in my favor. He's not going to kill me with that. What the fuck? Of course he is. What the fuck am I talking about, man? Uh, Earthquake should... Let's see how much Earthquake does. Very little. So, and of course, he's got Brick Break, which is, is like... It just did 94 fucking damage, probably more than that. Hung on with Sturdy. I mean, what the fuck, man? This goddamn Pokemon is not even super effective, and he just one-shots everything. It's just ridiculous, man. That does no fucking damage. We're going to one-shot me, of course, because he got Brick Break, a move that he doesn't even have hands. How could he even break bricks? I don't even fucking know, man. Hyper Pot, that's not overpowered or nothing. All right, so that's it. That's going to be the end of the episode. I'm going to have to uh, mix and match a bit here, I think. Figure something out. I just don't know. Like... These Pokemon just do way too much damage. It's just really unfair. Uh, I like a challenge, but these 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 Pokemon have abilities that they shouldn't know, and when they use them, they they act like they're super effective. Like look at that right there, man. Come the fuck on, man. They're both level 40, and that thing absolutely annihilates it. I don't know. I don't mind the field. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm complaining for no reason. It's a fun. I I like the challenge. I do like the challenge. But that's gonna be it for the episode, all right? So next episode, I am going to do a full, uh, I'll show you the conditions I meet to how to beat her easily. And yeah, probably going to have to figure some things out here. But either way, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, see you guys in the next episode.